Hey everybody, it's Miss Jackie and Miss Casey from the Lexington Library Junior Room and we're here to do a 4th of July craft with you today. Whoop whoop! So excited! We are going to make fireworks out of glue and sand today on black construction paper. So that's pretty much all you need. You can also use um, glitter or whatever else you have at home. We're using sand left over from the candles that we made. We have red, white, and blue sand. You need little spoons. You need black construction paper and you need glue and that's all you need and your imagination so um, there's a little trick for this and I'm going to tell you what it is we made on this one uh, fireworks completely red completely white or completely blue if you wanted to mix, mix them up a little bit and make the fireworks different colors you're gonna have to do it step by step and do one line put the glitter on or put the uh, sand on and then dump it off, let it dry a little, do another um, arm of the firework, and you have to make sure the first one's dry before you can do the second one. Um, so we just made them all the same color to make it easier, but you can mix it up if you'd like. Um, you can also mix your sand colors um, ahead of time, so they're multicolored, and just put them on the glue as you do it. That can make them multicolored also, okay? The trick here, and I learned this the hard way, is not to make your center so thick. So you really want one little point in the middle to go off from to make the fireworks because it takes much longer to dry if the center is really thick with glue. Okay, so you're going to make them however you want. You can even write a little message like we did. We wrote July 4th on there. You can write anything you'd like with glue. So I'm going to do exactly like what I did here, and you're going to make a little dot to start off with, very little, and you're going to make arms out of the fireworks, and they sort of come out like a wave, um, so you can make that with the glue, so it's going to look like that, okay? And then you're going to take whatever color you want, sand or glitter or a mixed amount of colors, and you're going to spoon them very gently onto the glue. Remember, less is more, but you want the glue covered as best as possible. And the trick here is to just cover enough of the glue, and then we're going to shake it off back into our containers that's why once you mix the glitter or once you mix the colors they're going to stay mixed when you put them back into the container we're going to need another container for yours now because when we shake it off the blue and white are going to be mixed that's okay. <laughs> Casey's doing blue and white together. I'm doing just red. Just enough to color the cover the uh, glue. All right. So then, once all of it's covered, you're gonna shake it. And you're going to pour it back into your container, whatever's excess. So it comes out looking like that. Nice? See? Very pretty. Very nice. Alright, so then I'm going to do another one, a different color. That's why you got to do it color by color if you don't want to mix, want them mixed. And you can put them anywhere on the black piece of paper that you want. You can make any kind of designs you want. Um, Sometimes you have those squiggly fireworks. You can make your fireworks any shape that you want. <laughs> Little mess. Yeah, you gotta fold it. No, 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 I'm just getting the blue first. Not the blue and the white. Do you want me to go get you another container? Nope. I'm gonna store it. Just put it on the newspaper. I won't separate it later. There goes separated. 
I got it on the end of my paper. Yeah. So we're good. We don't have to waste containers. We don't have to waste anything. All right. And we're doing this outside because it does get kind of messy um, with the glue and the glitter and the sand everywhere. So I would suggest putting newspaper down or uh, paper bags down first before you do it. Um, I'm going to use the blue. And just remember, less is more. You don't need that much. You can get messy, though. Casey is a messy girl. She likes to get messy. You can always clean it up if you get messy. After you've done these, you can hang them up on doors or in windows to celebrate the holiday. We would love to see your creations, what your fireworks look like. Please take a picture of your creation and put it in the comments below for us. We would love to see them. Can I have the red piece? Yes. Thank you. And you can even, um, if you wanted to, you could draw a background onto the paper too. Like say you're watching the fireworks at the beach. You can draw a beach scene behind the fireworks that we're making once everything is dry. Um, it does take a little while for everything to dry, so give it time. But once everything is dry, it's gonna look really cool. This will like I'm done with it. Fireworks can take on many different shapes, mm -hmm. right? Tell us what you're doing for the 4th of July. How do you guys celebrate? Do you have barbecues? Do you go see the parade? Do you go see fireworks? Tell us how you celebrate in the comments below. Um, the library will be open on Friday and Saturday. Um, but we are closed Sunday and Monday for the 4th of July, just to let y'all know. We hope everybody has a safe and fun and happy 4th of July. May I have the white, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Casey's making all hers red, white, and blue. Always add more glue if you need to. Yeah, you can add more glue anytime you need it. I like it that you can put it on there and then take off the excess sand and re reuse it for another project. Or glitter, whatever you're using. Fill up anything that has glue on it. This is a fun project for everybody. Any age can do it. These are so cool. Other shapes do fireworks come in? They do dots too. Right? They come in like um, shapes in the sky, like circles and things like that. Circles, yeah. I've seen hearts. Hearts are fun. Let's do a heart.
You took my sand. I'm sorry. <laughs> I took doing red? Can I have the other two colors? Mm -hmm. You're hoarding them. I'm sorry. Sharing is caring. There we go. Alright. Keep doing that. Keep closing it up. And you just tap everything to make it come off your page. Uh, so that's our craft for today. Casey wants to show wants to show you hers, so we won't end this yet. But we would love to see yours. Please post photos of what you make in the comments below. Share with friends. Get everybody to do one. Can I have the red bag? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now you're going to shake all your excess off. Oh, I got a message. The 4th of July is her birthday. It's my birthday. So I wrote a happy birthday, Mom. Thanks, Casey. You're welcome. Uh, everybody Casey. have a really good 4th of July. Be safe, everybody. Have fun doing your craft, and we'll see you soon at the Lettington Library. Happy 4th of July.